Okay, so this is the Shago Hot fight. All we really need are rockets. Uh, does that make the fight like really trivial? Well, it's kind of required to use the rockets anyway. So, so the main thing is that like um, there's a hole in the back that you gotta shoot. Right. And uh, the Shago Hot will constantly be moving unless you uh, shoot the, the drill shreds. And uh, Vulcan's a bit of a liar there. Even though he says he can't move, he's still kind of moving. He's at least pivoting. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like a basic tank, right? Just because you take out one shred doesn't mean the other side doesn't work. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't take out both tanks. Also, look how fast I'm shooting rockets. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, this is why they had to change uh, reloading from uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and on. <laughs> you mean it's, think... it's not totally implausible that... Snake is just like reaching into a back pocket and pulling out 50,000 rockets? Um, no, this is not the Carl Gustav launch of a Peace Walker. Anyway, um, you can also use grenades to take out the treads. I imagine that's not as effective, or just like not as simple. They work just the same, it's just you gotta aim it and, uh,. We all know how well I do with throwing weapons. <laughs> Look, maybe this is the time you should that you redeem yourself. Not that time. I will edit it in post. <laughs> I'm still not sure how you avoid the uh, the machine gun flurry, but I guess taking out the tread will stop it. Yeah, because I mean you can't influence Eva's movements, right? Nope. Yeah. This is all on rails. So maybe it's just scripted to miss? Or have you know. been hit by it before? Oh jeez, I made the Shago Hot go really high. <laughs> I was half expecting it to just like flip over. I wish it did. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. There unsurprisingly, there is an achievement for being the Shago Hod. Uh, oh yeah, right, because it got updated for PS3. Yeah. I didn't really go over much of the trophies and achievements at all, did I? Uh, well, I mean, I think... Don't you have, like, notifications to save them? I already got a platinum on this game, though, so... Oh, well, that doesn't help, either. Yeah. Okay, well, one of the funnier trophies I can think of is called Peace Walker, and that's the trophy you get for going through the entire game uh, non-lethally. <laughs> There's also Where's the Bomb? Uh, which is a quote from 24 by Jack Bauer, otherwise, or played by Keith Kiefer Sutherland. And you get that for interrogating someone. Oh, just just anybody? Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought it would have been more special than that. Also, at this point, I'm just, like, killing times to, like, try to get him to do the missile thing, and also get magazines. Uh, missile thing is, like, the, the floor, you gotta shoot him down, but I missed the first one. <laughs> They have heat-seeking missiles. Not even heat-seeking, we were just too close. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Being too close to rocket explosions is a, is a recurring thing for this boss fight. <laughs> Did we beat him? No. So keep shooting at it. I mean, really, I don't know why Snake isn't, like, already lined up a rocket for Volgan. Yeah, I know, right? Snake looks like a red devil. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe I should have changed his camo. <laughs> I mean, if you're, if you're doing, like, a demon run or whatever, it'd be pretty good. Red <laughs> Oni Snake. If only he had, like, one of those creepy masks. If on me. <laughs> oh, actually there is a mask in the game. Like, not the Rykov mask, but like, uh... A mask you wear just like, strap around the back of your head. Right. But you can't get in the HD version, because it's a PS2 version exclusive. Aww. It's the monkey mask. And oh, it's right. A, right. It's an Ape Escape mask. Right. Which is why it's not in this game anymore, because uh, they had to take that out. That sucks. Yeah. It, it was really goofy, and but it was really cool and <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh well. There's a bunch of extras that got taken out. Oh, you but oh well. Ah! 
Uh, given, uh, given Volgan the President's Group salute. <laughs> Evo, what are you doing? I don't even need you here. I can... I really can just do this all by myself. Yeah, I got a rocket launcher and infinite ammo. Uh, well, no, the infinite ammo is only because we were in the sidecar. No. But even with limited ammo, I can do this myself. That's like the world's most terrifying game of chicken. <laughs> he was like, I didn't really think this through, did I? <laughs> Okay, so same strategy as before, take out the treads, but this time instead of trying to save the Shagohod, we're trying to, like, take out Volgan. <laughs> so, you can't shoot him head on, so you gotta get around to, like, his side or his back and just shoot him. It doesn't matter if you shoot him lethally or non-lethally here, you already got his camo, and uh, even if you didn't, you can't get Cold War camo here. Right, right. And the box is going to be very important in this fight. So basically, there's no like special unlocks or items that you can get from this. No. Okay. So do whatever. You probably could like shoot rockets at him. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't that what you're supposed to do, really? Well, I decided to go with uh, the Mark 22 just because. Maybe okay. I want to extract him alive. I think I think you you lied about having platinum and you want to get that Peace Walker achievement. Well, I mean, I did do a non-lethal run before. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the basic strategy. Take out the treads, uh, and then go around and shoot him. Seems, seems pretty just generic. At this point, Volgan will never take his attention off me because I'm just really, really fast at getting his attention. <laughs> On another note, I really shouldn't be so close to where I'm aiming. You're, you're really fast on the trigger, too. Yeah, I am. I can't move. I can't move. It's like, I, any, if this game was realistic, the tread would break, and then you'd have to repair it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like shaft grenades have a use here, but I can't remember what, if they would. Like maybe it just maybe it has messed up like the missile aiming or the the machine gun, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. as you as you've seen, if Volgan just tries to charge straight into you with a box on, you he can't hit you. So my my strategy is basically just weave in and out like from underneath the the shadow hod and just. And just pelt them in the back with Mark 22. Or whatever you want to use. You can use huh. the Mosin God, you can use the SVD, machine guns, whatever. Would it be faster to use the Mosin the Gun? I, I assume not really. I think it does more stamina damage, but like, I'm. It takes long for me to aim it, so I just right. stick with this. Right, right. So you're only limited to one shot? Yeah, pretty much. Uh... You sure about that, Volgan? You seem to be having a hard time. Uh, once more, with a little more enthusiasm, I'm going to grind you into dust. Nope. Good night, Volgan. And then snakes like dust to dust, ashes to ashes. Man, maybe that's what the Phantom Pain trailer is trying to tell us. Volgan, you are the lightning in that rain. Somehow, he's still able to just keep going. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a little more realistic with the way you've done it, because you know, you've only shot him with tranquilizer darts. Well, I mean, the first time I, I beat him up, literally. Oh, that's true. But I mean, he's he probably have a couple broken bones. Well, he is a Superman. <laughs> also, I'm really sorry about the thing, right? Volgan's electricity really messes it up. <laughs> I know, it was interference. You see, it all plays into how it's real. So, what were you saying about heat? Or the rounds going off because of heat? Yeah, but it's just kind of like weird that it happens now when it's yeah. had like 15 opportunities to do it before. Yeah, I guess. And, anyway... There goes Volgan. 
ended by irony because he didn't ward off the thunder. Here's to you. Do 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 do. <laughs> it all comes full circle, you see. <laughs> oh man, I love how it looks like fireworks in the background. Yeah, it's the 4th of July. I think it's actually supposed to be like September 1st in game. No, 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 no. It's patriotic. You've got the US flag. Clearly, 4th of July. <laughs> Time for this now. The escape <laughs> completely <laughs> unfazed. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess we gotta go again. Okay, I just looked up. Operation Snake Eater takes place from August 30th to Let's September go. 2nd. That was like the first result on Google. I think I think that was redacted by government employees. <laughs> So hey, uh, we're not done with the chase sequence yet. Of course not. I mean, why would we? <laughs> and uh, yeah, the, um, the hovercraft guys are back too. They're my favorite. Probably my. Always... I think my favorite vehicle of the game. It's a it's a great vehicle. <laughs> uh, you can't really shoot the hovercraft people like in the torso because you know their their uh, vehicle protects them. Yeah, it got that shield. But their head is fair game, though. <laughs> Look, I assume that any hit is luck when you've got a, a machine gun off the back of a motorcycle. Pretty much. I mean, you've got no hard point to attach it to, you're not strapped into anything. I'm a May Snake just hasn't fly, uh, flown off. <laughs> well, Snake's got those, like, astronaut boots, the ones that, that are magnetized. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it works. The uh, only reason he doesn't use it to like climb buildings or anything, he's terrible with vertigo. You wouldn't believe it. I'm sure he'll get better after a while. Maybe like <laughs> 20 years from now. Yeah, increase your stamina gauge, Snake. You'll be fine. So, um, this chase sequence is pretty much why I've left the Cold War camo on. Because <laughs> it's really goofy. <laughs> I just can't get enough of like this one guy killing everybody, but because he's wearing a Russian flag, they're all okay with it. <laughs> it's not that they're okay with it, it's just they can't bring themselves to shoot their homeland. Mm, seems like they're okay with it, really. I mean, they don't even say anything. Mm. Also, uh, Garrigan right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to, I guess, rocket? Yeah. Also, I'm sorry to that guy who I made, who I killed and clipped through his uh, vehicle. <laughs> there, there's a character hidden on a log somewhere in this map, I'm sure. Alright, viewers, let's see if you can find it. Okay. This is, this would be really ridiculous. I'm, I'm not sure if I believe you, and yet, somehow I still do. What, the character? Yeah. Oh, it's there. It's there somewhere. This seems like such a dick move. The fact that their character's hidden in the bike chase sequence in general is a dick move. Yeah. So, like, do you just have to, like, constantly reload if you miss it? Yes. Uh... And it has to all be on one run, right? Well, I mean, you can hit it on the map, and then, like, when you get to the next map, save immediately. But, no, yeah. but, but I mean, like, you can't... If you get it in one run, you know, it doesn't count for any, like, new games you do. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay. Not that it would really help, because, like, you probably need to keep a checklist to make sure you knew which ones you hit or not, and it's probably just a lot easier just to go hit all of them. <laughs> you know, I wish more games had, like, checklists and stuff built into the game. That would be really nice. Especially for, like, really huge open-world games. The worst. Yeah. Also, um... This is after a while. Eva will like sell you about a log up ahead, and you gotta shoot it down or <laughs> risk getting hurt. And I almost missed it. 
now back to our regular schedule again. It's yeah, I'm I'm really hoping that uh, the RPG Seven does not make a, a reoccurrence in later games, just because <laughs> you know you're having some issues. I'm seeing. Oh uh, yeah, you shake its trajectory. Not the best. You shoot low all the time. I do. <laughs> also, I like how those uh hovercraft guys just like uh flew straight into the cliff wall there. It's it's classic. It's a classic goon move. <laughs> oh, there it was. I can't believe I saw it. Oh, I didn't see it. I, I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Right? How are you even supposed to hit that? Like, wow. Very carefully. <laughs> Actually, not carefully. You, you, I recommend a rocket launcher. Yeah, like, that's ridiculous. The worst is I'm probably going to, like, rewatch this footage just to make sure I didn't somehow, like, imagine that I saw a Keratin. Okay, well, for reference, it was probably around, like, 1530 or so. Somewhere around there, yeah. On a rock on the left. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. But, yeah, that window is incredibly small. It's just... It's bad. the worst. <laughs> Let me tell you about a game with bad design called Theater <laughs> I, I only wish that Snake continued his scream for a little bit longer. Yeah, that would be really great. <laughs> I think we're coming up on the end of the fight season soon. Do you know if anybody has ever just like taken Snake's scream and is in like a still of his face and put it on Rambo? I don't know. <laughs> also, here's a jump. Holy crap. That was a pretty cool jump. <laughs> I wonder if she planned that. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, once uh once Eva tells you to look or that there's a jump, that's your cue to stop whatever you're doing and just switch the snake to the camera. Why? To watch the jump. Uh I guess. Looks what if you're not impressed by that stuff? Don't start celebrating yet. We're then you have no soul. <laughs> Eva, no, don't take your eyes off the road. I mean... Crap. <laughs> okay, this is a weird... <laughs> this makes just a little bit too little sense. This is how you don't ride motorcycles. <laughs> I mean, all those bullets, only the tank is hit, and then Eva takes... Eva mentions that they're leaking fuel, and then... Like, looks at the fuel tank on a curve. She's just a terrible driver. Eva. I guess they needed some, like, dumb reason to get her to, uh, get, look away. I mean, they couldn't, they could have just had somebody crash into them, if you ask me. Yeah, or like, how when they just, like, throw a stun grenade in front of them? Oh, that could have worked. Well, flash stun, whatever. Well, yeah, whatever. The game calls them stun grenades. Well, oh, that's right. I was gonna say, like, isn't there a flash grenade? Or... <laughs> Snake. How's it look? You'll be fine. We we've got a, a whole hospital in our backpack. <laughs> Eva. What about you, Snake? I'm fine. That's good to hear. Somehow. <sighs> I mean, oh, after no, af after you survive being thrown off a bridge, yeah, you can wait, really Eva. any fall doesn't do so, anything to you anymore. Leave me, Eva. The boss is waiting for you. You have to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake. I'll never make it. It'll be fine. Just just apply lots of pressure. Uh -huh. You're gonna be a dad. You're gonna make it. Wait. You mean? <laughs> Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you. Eva, I need you. Blah. <laughs> and then she just dies. <laughs> so unceremoniously. 
I can't fly the wig by myself. <laughs> Snake, you asshole. <laughs> Could have been something romantic, but no. Could have just said, I need you. Leave it at that. All right, then. I guess I'd better help you out. <laughs> Mm. You know, Snake, you should probably take up that med pack you have, like now. Like, yeah. Or, or, you know, two minutes ago. And you probably shouldn't let her stand. Yeah, and, let her, and just don't let her bleed out. Yeah. Paramedic, what do I do? She's got a, a hole in her or something? Wait, is he actually doing that? <laughs> Snake. Paramedic, what do I do? <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, help me, paramedic. I don't know what to do. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact. Calm down, Snake. Calm down. You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. But you're the only one who can do this. Understand? Yeah, so Snake's in critical condition. Right. Eva, uh, whatever. Okay. Now let's open up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you have supplies with you? More than should I'm fit short. in here. I think that's a lie. <laughs> for, for, for plot purposes, I am running low. Oh, and Snake, I'm pretty sure uh, I lost them in the motorcycle you crash. Did, didn't you see? You. Your wounds come first. Huh. Do you get okay, so yeah. Uh, paramedic says that if, if we have to choose between healing me I know, or Eva, then I should come first, but that really Snake? doesn't matter at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get the understanding in, like, a real situation that'd probably be the case, because, you know, one person coming back is better than none, but... For this? Like, look at that. I'm full up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why, like, they can, like, script that otherwise. Paramedic, I don't know why I lied to you. I could open up a hospital ward all by myself. Anyway, uh, this is your introduction to, uh, caring for Eva. She has wounds too, and she also gets hungry. So you need to feed her at times too. From super agent to nurse. Snake, everybody. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then Eva makes a comment about his bedside manner. Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. I want a fireman carry her. Well, actually, that's probably not a good idea since you'd be putting a lot of pressure on her wound. Mm. That and Snake's a little banged up too, so... Look, unless I see a character bleed, they're okay. That's how video games work. Well, you gotta remember that Snake was really banged up after Virtuous Mission, and he's still banged up. When you're Slowly. using a two-hand grip, well, that's all psychological. You put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the. Yeah, it must be considering the stuff he's been doing all game. <laughs> also, the advice he just gave really useful, and if you ever shoot a revolver, you want to follow that, or else, bad times. Yeah, like you just said, my fingers will get burned. 